Nowadays, there's so many tools on the internet. Some people don't see the benefit of possibly having a financial professional help them with a retirement plan. No matter how many YouTube videos I look at, I know that doing projects on my own is going to be a recipe for disaster. Will I get the project done? Yes. Am I going to get frustrated? Yes. Is it going to take me a lot of time? Yes. And I've realized that time is the greatest asset that you can have. So you essentially have to look at, hey, is this something I really want to be putting my time into? And does it make sense to have someone who has my best interest in mind to ensure that I am on track for retirement? Because ultimately, when working with a financial professional on a retirement plan, they are going to figure out the first thing is, are you on track? Are you behind? And if you're on track, great. Then there's still going to be adjustments to be made. If you're behind, there's also still adjustments that are going to be made because no strategy is perfect. And the problem with the financial industry is you could hire someone to do a financial plan for you and it's a static plan, meaning they're pinpointing one moment in time and saying, hey, this is your financial plan. However, what I like to do is have an adaptable working strategy when it comes to retirement planning. Meaning when we do a retirement plan, we're gonna set the foundation and the foundation is gonna make sure that we aren't throwing all the caution in the wind with our money. At the same time though, no matter how good the foundation is, no matter whether you're buying a brand new house, you still have to do maintenance and repairs to your home and your money to make sure that it's working as effectively and efficiently as humanly possible. And that's really the benefit of retirement planning is to set first, set the foundation, then create a full motion, adaptable working plan that you're going to make strategic adjustments to over time to ensure that your money is keeping up with the times. Because ultimately, an investment strategy that's working today may not be the best investment strategy for you three, six or nine years down the road. And ultimately, you want to make sure that you're making those shifts to your strategy so that way you are not letting your money fall behind.